beautiful day in the rose garden. Wow, fine. Dad Romano, what are you doing in the rose garden? Hey, why don't you take a look at something? If you can get in here. Okay. Take a look at these colors. If you look at this, this is an amazing color. It's sort it of is. between a pink and a red. Um, there's white. If you come over here. Yes, um, Dad Romano. And you look. Um, it's an unbelievable yellow. Um, the reason why these things are so colored. Do you have any reason why they're so colored? If you look at the molecular structure of the pigments that's in these plants, they are unbelievably conjugated. If you remember from organic chemistry, there's a whole bunch of double bonds, double, single, double, single. As we increase the conjugation, we sort of absorb different wavelengths of light, and therefore we get different colors. Um, if I ask you what, what spectroscopy would you use to identify one of these plant pigments to get these pretty colors, do you have any idea what that spectroscopy would be? Not it a would, clue. It would be UV spectra. So if you did oh. a UV spectra, you would look at the molecules, making each of these up. If you look down here, I could show you another one. Look at this red. Okay, Dr. Romano. I'm not excited about the plant, but I'm excited thinking about the unbelievably conjugated molecule. If you look over here, take a look at this one. If you look at the different colors, yeah. you're seeing flowers. But what I'm seeing, I'm seeing conjugation. A lot of conjugation. So I hope this is a good lesson to you. Anytime you see color, very often it would be due to conjugation. Even if you see somebody with a red shirt or a green shirt, it would be because the dye or the pigment is made with conjugated molecules. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye. Bye, Dr. Romano. I'm going to go back and enjoy the roses. Wow, he always finds chemistry in everything.